Hello there, this is Andrew from uh, Somo, where we help companies, clients all over the world build amazing products using no-code and low-code tools. And in today's video, I'll show you how to use Xeno as a no-code backend for your application. There are cases where you might want to use an external backend for your application. If you, for example, want to, would want to host it in a different location because of the regulatory like GDPR environments, or you would like to own your database, or uh, maybe just your uh, chosen builder of the front end of your no-code, low-code solution does not support um, databases natively, for example, like VWeb or Webflow. In that cases, uh, we can use Xano as a no-code backend and let me show you how to do it. After signing up, you can go to your databases and create the schema for your databases where I, like here, created simple schemas for companies with title, with active logo, location, etc. as well as uh, user, extended uh, user, it was a standard one, product and uh, order, for example. We'll be working mostly with uh, just company and users so, uh, and uh, the great part about Xeno is that pretty much it, just uh, creating the tables uh, would be enough. They would automatically give you a default set of API, uh, default group of APIs for you to work with your database. For example, with your company's uh, standard REST API to get single company, get list of companies, create, delete, update, uh, etc. Uh, let's go to Postman and make, for example, a simple request to my Xeno API to get a list of companies and here it uh, returns a list of my current companies in my demo uh, database account. Of course, uh, to be able to build a full-fledged applications, you would want to authorize your users and it is also uh, can be done simply and fast with Xeno. Uh, they offer you standard login through email password out of the box and you can add external uh, login providers as well if you need uh, like Google, Facebook, etc. And again, give you API to login and sign up your users. I already sign up, let's uh, authorize uh, my uh, demo users, uh, my demo user, for example, uh, through their API with email and uh, super secure password. Uh, don't use it in your application, it's just a demo uh, to get uh, a OOS token right here that I can copy and use for my authorized uh, calls uh, later. So let's make, for example, uh, you can see these are not authenticated calls. Let's make, for example, users an authenticated one. If I would want, if I would make uh, a call to this user without authentication, it would respond me uh, that it is, uh, uh, oh, not this one. Uh, it's for post users. Let's make uh, this one now uh, uh, authenticated. It would uh, respond me that uh, I authorization is needed, and uh, when we input our bearer access token, bearer uh, that I just returned, it would uh, give me a response to my users. As you can see, this is not standard response. By the way, it's more uh, combined response. I'll show you uh, why, and this is also uh, one of the. A stronger side of uh, Xano that they can that they offer you kind of like your logic builder for your um, API calls so that you can define different inputs that this uh, request would accept and define the logic uh, or what should you do with this uh, requests like query databases uh, and use different filter parameters like check only for active users uh, make other API calls, for example, I'm making this my call to other uh, bubble database and combine these both responses uh, in a single uh, response and returning. That's why the response is a bit uh, is a bigger and more complex because it's actually a combination of two responses, both from Xeno and uh, my other source of the API. Uh, this is great on uh, like in theory, but in practice, to be honest, I find it a bit hard to work with this um, UI builder of uh, functions and uh, data manipulation um, and caching and other uh, utilities that they offer a bit uh, hard to understand and not uh, uh, very standard. But anyway, they, they are here for you to use in case you need it. Uh, be aware that uh, might 
be a little bit challenging and not very flexible at the end. Another thing that I love about Xeno is that they offer here, for example, lots of uh, great educational resources for any uh, level from the beginner to advanced. That helps a lot if you're getting familiar with uh, APIs, database in general, to get started faster for your uh, no-code application. Um, also, I find Xeno pricing a bit uh, high, maybe higher than uh, competitors, for example, like uh, Firebase or uh, Bubble or Superbase charge uh, uh, much less for very similar services. But overall, it's a good uh, solution to try to power your uh, future great no-code tool with no-code backend like Xeno. Let me know how do you like it, uh, what do you think about it, what's your experience using Xeno, and uh, we'll be glad to hear that. Thanks for watching and take care.